Ah uh, yes, hello again traveller, and welcome to Cryptid Central. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a further 10 mysterious, puzzling and scary cryptids in 10 Cryptids You've Never Heard Of, Part 10. Number 10. The Oil Pit Squid In 1996, General Motors workers cleaning a sludge pit at the GMC Delphi Interior and Lighting Plant in Anderson, Indiana, USA, found strange small squids of an inch and a half in diameter and six to eight inches in length swimming around inside a chemical sludge pit amongst oil, antifreeze, and other chemicals used to make plastic car parts. One was caught and put in a jar and stored at the factory, but disappeared before any further research could be done. No more specimens were found, even after the pit was cleaned and inspected. Number 9. The Menehune the Menehune are a race of pygmy people said to live in the deep forests and hidden valleys of the Hawaiian Islands. The Menehune people stand two to three feet tall, and their favourite foods are said to be bananas and fish. In legends, it is said that the Menehune built temples, fish ponds, roads, canoes, and houses. Some of these structures still exist, and the craftsmanship is evident. They are said to have lived in Hawaii before settlers arrived from Polynesia many centuries ago. Some early scholars theorised that there was a first settlement of Hawaii by settlers from the Marquesas Islands and a second from Tahiti. The Manahune then fled to the mountains, and only rare sightings of their people have been reported since. Number 8. Air Rods Air rods, also known as flying rods or skyfish, have never actually been seen with the naked eye, but have instead been picked up by camera footage all over the world. Air rods were first discovered in the 1990s, when people started to find that films of all types, ranging from home videos to Hollywood movies, had odd disturbances that looked something like blurry rods that were mostly transparent, or occasionally whitish in colour. Most of these disturbances were fast moving and barely visible to the eye. They tend to show up best against large, featureless areas, such as the sky, People soon found that these rods were widespread. Countless films had them lurking almost imperceptibly in the corners, including old television shows, movies, sporting events, almost anything caught on film. There were simply too many examples to study them all, running into the tens of thousands. And there were also air rods visible in photographs. They looked like uniform cylinders, with pairs of appendages along the length. In some air rods, these appendages looked like fins that vibrate rapidly along the entire length of the cylinder, in undulating waves. Other rods have appendages that look more like very rapidly beating insect wings. In addition to their three-dimensional character, these rods seemed to act in intelligent ways. Sometimes, several rods followed each other, and seemed to play in the manner that butterflies do. Sometimes, they followed people, but they never went through other objects. They always went around them, even when this meant deviating from the path they'd been on before. This seemed to indicate that they could not pass through solid objects, and that they might be alive. Number 7. Beeb's Abyssal Fishes Beebs abyssal fishes are several different species of never-before-seen deep-sea fish observed by William Beebe in a bathysphere in the North Atlantic Ocean off Nonsuch Island, Bermuda, between 1930 and 1934, and never seen since. These include an abyssal rainbow gar, five-lined constellation fish, pallid sailfin, and a three-starred anglerfish. Beeb's bathysphere dives incorporated the first direct observations of abyssal fishes in their natural environment. No specimens of these species have so far been obtained. Assuming that Beeb's testimony was truthful, there are secrets of the sea that were revealed to humanity only briefly before disappearing back into its depths dark and alien anonymity. 
Number 6. The Flatwoods Monster The Flatwoods Monster is a cryptid sighted in the forests of Flatwoods and Frametown, West Virginia. It is believed to be of extraterrestrial nature. At 7.15pm on the 12th of September 1952, three boys witnessed a bright object cross the sky. The object came to rest on land belonging to a local farmer. Once they saw it land, the boys went to one of their mother's houses, where they reported seeing a UFO crash land in the hills. From there, the boys and a group of locals went to the farm to try and find whatever it was that the boys had seen. One of the locals' dogs ran ahead out of sight and started barking, then moments later ran back to the group with its tail between its legs. After travelling about a quarter of a mile, the group reached the top of a hill where they reportedly saw a large, pulsating ball of fire about 50 feet away. They also saw a mist that made their eyes and noses burn. A farmer then noticed two small lights over to the left of the object and directed his flashlight towards them, revealing the creature, which was reported to have emitted a shrill hissing noise before gliding towards them, then all of a sudden changed direction and headed off towards the red light. At this point, the group fled in panic. Number 5. The Were Tiger. The Were Tiger is a feline cryptid said to inhabit forests all across the continent of Asia. Usually, the cryptid would eat livestock, especially chickens, although it was not uncommon for them to eat humans. Although some variations of the beast exist, most agree that the creature looks like a humanoid tiger. Although in some countries, Were Tigers are humans with the ability to shapeshift into a tiger. When a person would wear a specific skirt, the item would grow longer, turning yellow and black. The person is then transformed into a tiger, where he or she must find another victim to devour to release his or her soul. Number 4. The USS Stein Monster The USS Stein Monster was a creature said to have attacked the Knox-class destroyer escort, USS Stein. She was named after US Marine Tony Stein, who received the Medal of Honor posthumously after his part in the Battle of Iwo Jima. In 1976, the ship was attacked by an unknown species of giant squid. The creature damaged the rubber coating of her sonar dome, over 8% of the surface coating was damaged. Nearly all of the cuts contained remnants of the curved claws found on the rims of suction cups on squid's tentacles. The claws were much larger than any reported at the time, and the creature was estimated to have measured up to 150 feet in length. Number 3. The Enfield Horror Encountered in Enfield, Illinois, USA, the bizarre string of events that would eventually stir the small Illinois town of Enfield into a frenzy of fear began on April 25th, 1973, when a young boy named Greg Garrett claimed to have been attacked by a bizarre creature while playing in his backyard. The child described the being as having three legs, grey slimy skin, short claws, and red eyes. The creature apparently stamped on the boy's feet with its own, tearing his tennis shoes to shreds. Greg, hysterical, wasted no time scurrying away from the fiend and back into the relative safety of his parents' house. While one's initial assumption would be that this story is nothing more than a product of a child's overactive imagination, Greg's encounter wouldn't be the last, as many more would be reported later, including the Garrett's neighbour, a mere half an hour after Greg's. Number 2. The Tall Whites Tall white aliens, named so for their resemblance to the more well-known greys, except for being far taller and a pale chalk white colour. They are said to be between 6 and 7 feet tall, some as tall as 7 foot 5. These tall, slender extraterrestrials are said to thrive in arid, dry atmospheres. Tall whites have very large eyes that are blue at childhood, but turn pink as they age. 
While tall whites are said to be physically weak after numerous genetic manipulations to their genus, their long limbs can propel them faster than a human runner. And number one, the Hat Man. The Hat Man is a phenomenon in which witnesses report seeing a shadowy entity. It looks like a shadow, or ghost, of a person wearing an old style hat. The Hat Man is almost always seen just standing up. This form has no apparent reaction to people. For example, many people reported bumping into this entity which does absolutely nothing for seconds or minutes, then moves around a short while before vanishing, as if it couldn't detect who saw it. However, it is not always reported to be harmless. The Hat Man has sometimes been mentioned as a distinct entity, and witnesses reported that they felt utter terror upon seeing it. Others have reported that this entity feeds on fear, and does not vanish, but simply walks away as any normal person would. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, and let me know which of these was your favourite, and I'll see you next time on Cryptid Central.